Thank you, Grant. Residents in the central part of Carbondale say the number of shootings in their neighborhood is getting out of hand. They're asking police to take more action. The Arbor Neighborhood District, which sits north of the SIU campus, has scores of shots fired incidents. According to police records, there have been more than 80 in just the past two years. Carbondale Police Chief Stan Reno tells Heartland News his department is focused on the issue. The biggest thing that we've done is that we've actually investigated these cases and we've made progress in these investigations and we've already made some some key arrests that will have long term impacts on uh, resolving these cases. Colin Bailey is live now from Carbondale with more on what people there are saying. Hey, Kathy and Jeff. Yeah, I'm here in the Arbor District where the residents I spoke with today tell me that it is worrisome that these rash of shootings are continuing to take place in their neighborhood. It does make us a little nervous, absolutely. Keith Evans and his family moved back into the Arbor District a handful of months ago. Even with an increase of violence in the neighborhood, he tells me that he will still enjoy the Arbor District with his family. I'm never going to be afraid to have my kid play in, in our own yard, but it makes me want to keep eyes on them. It makes me want to keep them in at night, absolutely. We requested an open records request from the Carbondale PD. Since May 6 of 2022, the department has responded to six shooting incidents in the Arbor District, ranging from property damage to a non-fatal shooting. Even while Holden Shepard and his dog walk through the Arbor District Tuesday, he tells me that he and his family take precautions no matter what. Constantly have the doors locked and constantly just kind of be on the lookout. Shepard says even with the uptick in gun violence, he and his family still feel safe. It feels really homey, even though I've only been here for a few months. It's, it feels uh, everything's so close within walking distance and including all the, acti all the activity. Yeah. According to police records since the beginning of 2022, there has been 28 different reports of shots fired in the neighborhood. But Evans tells me he is seeing more police patrolling the neighborhood. I really just want them to, to look at the neighborhood and be able to act on uh, the issues that we see. You know, when people's ring cameras are picking up shootings and there's a pretty clear picture of which direction it's coming from, you hope that they can get to the bottom of it, especially when it's happening over and over again. And just to add what Carbondale Police Chief Stan Reno told me today, he says he is increasing patrols throughout the neighborhood and also installing more surveillance cameras in hope of curbing the violent crime. Reporting live in Carbondale, Colin Bailey, Heartland News.